Welcome back. Today, the American Heart Association celebrating 25 years of its annual Heart Walk. Yeah, organizers are expecting about 20,000 people to turn out at Target Field. Our Todd Walker is live there this morning with the preview. Good morning, Todd. Hey, good morning, Cody. Good morning, Sarah. Yes, we are down here at Target Field. I have to tell you, I've covered this event for so many years, and we have literally seen every weather condition. A lot of the volunteers have been volunteering and been down here with me over the past close to 20 years, and we've seen, like, monsoon rains. We've seen snow. It's been so incredibly hot. And rain or shine, this event takes place. And as you said, we're expecting about 20,000 volunteer, uh, 20,000 walkers to come out here today, 9:30 this morning. The goal is to raise 2.5 million dollars. So that's only going to happen is if you get out of bed this morning and come down here to Target Field. You can sign up on the spot. You can join all these wonderful walkers that come down here every single year. And I'm here with Sue Ling. Good morning, Sue Ling. Good morning. All right, so Ling is with the American Heart Association. So we're we're going to a little bit focused now on kids and getting kids active but you were sharing some amazing stats with me about kids right now one and three children are right now considered overweight or obese correct correct and that's three times more than 50 years ago and one of the contributors is through sugary drinks consumption uh, research shows that um, added sugars is the number one source <laughs> okay of, um, or sugary drinks is the number one source of added sugars in the American diet and um, you can see here, we have a display here of 30 gallons, and an average kid gets 30 gallons of sugary beverages per Wait, year. Wait, you're saying the average child, that, and, and how long? In a year. Holy cow, that's amazing. Right, so the average kid, 9 to 18, they consume about 23 to 34 teaspoons of sugar a day, sugar a day and uh, the American Heart Association recommends no more than six teaspoons a day. And you were saying that's like filling an entire bathtub, correct? Correct, and we got a little visual there for you. That's unbelievable. So like a drink like this, at which we see a number of teenagers or adults, they leave the gym, they get this great workout, and then they are sitting here with a Powerade. Yep, and what is... And that, there's a quarter cup of sugar in one of these drinks. So there's quite a bit of sugar that kids do not need. And we've got a campaign uh, targeting youth sports organizations, water the original sports drink, and encouraging organizations to educate. And get kids families. active, right? Absolutely. All right. So speaking of keeping kids active, there's a fun game they're going to play, and I'm asking these volunteers to come over here. So rather than drink those sports drinks, it's the dice game we're going to be playing. So you guys ready to participate? Yeah. So I'm going to throw this in the air, and whatever it comes up with, you guys get to do arm circles. And, okay, let's do another one here. And, oh, this is how long you have to do it, guys. You have to do it for 30 seconds, and then we're going to be out of this segment by then. But let's do one more exercise. And now we are going to do bunny hops. Okay, guys, come on down here and participate in the American Heart Association. <laughs> the walk starts at 930 this morning, and I can't wait to get out of this segment so I don't have to do bunny hops anymore. All right, Sarah <laughs> and Cody, I think we want to see you guys doing bunny hops behind the desk. Ready? Go to Cody. Um, Cody and I don't think and we could Sarah. do that while sitting. Thank you, oh, Todd. Mini arm circles. Right, guys, mini arm circles. We'll see you in about half an hour. <laughs> All right, sounds good.